pages 12 and 13. 8. Reading. Amazing Internet Connections We all use the Internet to connect with people. Using email, social networking sites, and chat rooms are ordinary ways that people connect. But at times, the Internet has been used to connect ordinary people in extraordinary ways. Saving a Life Twelve-year-old Sean Redden from Denton, Texas, was on the Internet playing a cyber fantasy world game. Suddenly, someone came online asking for help. The person said she was a Finnish business student who was locked in her college's computer lab. She said she was having an asthma attack and couldn't breathe. Redden wasn't sure if this was part of the game, as sometimes a few people lie on the net. However, as he later told the Dallas Morning News, he decided it was too real to be a joke. So Redden called the police. With the additional help of international phone operators, Finnish paramedics found 20-year-old Tara Lehtinen and gave her the medical attention she needed. Without the internet and the efforts of a 12-year-old boy half a world away, she might not have survived. Finding Your Double it was just an ordinary night on a crowded subway car for Patrick Swales, a 21-year-old web designer in New York City. The car had just stopped at a station, and the doors opened. Suddenly, he saw himself waiting at the platform, but the clothes were not really his style. What was he doing waiting there? He should be in the car, but he was in the car. By the time he realized that he had just run into his double, the doors had shut and they were moving. At that instant, their eyes met. Disbelief, amusement, wonder were all conveyed in that one look. They both raised a hand in an attempt to catch each other, but it was too late. Shaken by the encounter, and determined to find his double, Patrick came up with a unique idea. He created a website called SubwayMyDouble.com. He posted his own photo and a description of the man he had seen in the subway in the hope that someone would see it and make contact. He got the call two days later. Now, Patrick and his double are best friends his name is Manuel, and he is in New York studying web design. Patrick and Manuel have decided to take themselves out of the public eye, so they have stopped updating the site. Patrick posted this message on the website. In our best interest, there will be no more updates to this website. Unlike popular TV series, you will have to continue the story yourselves, Best wishes to all, and may you find your double someday. Reunited, 60 years later. Asma, a 75-year-old grandmother of eight, enjoyed telling her grandchildren stories about her youth. These stories usually featured Saba, Asma's best childhood friend. Asma and Saba had been as close as sisters. Then, when the girls were 15, Saba's family moved away, and the girls lost contact. But Asma never forgot her childhood friend. One day, Asma was telling her 13-year-old grandchild, Ali, a story about Saba, when Ali asked, Why don't you try to find her? Ali got out his laptop and showed Asma how to surf the web. A mere 30 minutes later, they had found Saba, Asma's hands trembled as she dialed her old friend's phone number. When Saba answered and Asma identified herself, Saba burst into tears. By coincidence, Saba was now living nearby. Sixty years later, the women are inseparable once again. My life has improved dramatically since Asma found me, says Saba. I never feel lonely anymore, adds Asma. It's as if we had never been apart. Sixty years have made no difference to our friendship. 
These are just a few of the incredible ways people have been brought together by the Internet. Every day there are more. Who knows what amazing Internet stories are unfolding at this very moment?